Next level, dropping a new 32 gigabyte image with a custom theme over 8,000 titles, including hacked games. Let's have a check out. So here we are in the theme. As you see, lots of blue neon and blue kind of flame, neon lighted flames. Um, also some really cool textures. If you go into the uh, actual systems, you'll see in the lower right hand corner, there is uh, Cat Productions helped with this theme. So really beautiful theme. They're the ones that did that recall fight theme. I think you could see it in the arcade here. Yeah, the recall fight. So anybody who notices this picture in the background, this might look familiar. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. Um, it is RetroPie version 4.3.16, so it is not 4.4. It is meant for the Raspberry Pi 3B, not the B plus. 1.2 gigahertz Pi 3. And uh, it's packing over 8,000 games total. You can see it here, 8,823. And it has this custom theme as well as a ton of other themes. And as far as the collections, what are you going to get? Arcade, 939. Atari 2600, 648. Atari 7800, 60. Atari Lynx, 76. Family Computer Disk System, 157. Game & Watch, 58. Game Gear, 253. Game Boy, 583. Game Boy Advance, 919. Game Boy Color, 535. Sega Master System, 359. And looks like we have some Sega Mark III games, nice. We also got some hack games in here as well. Nice to see. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis. We got our hack games in here. Nice. Nice little collection of hacks. Again, this is for the Raspberry Pi 3B and 0. You're going to see, though, with like Neo Geo, for example, it's not going to um, run those games very well. Neo Geo got all the Metal Slugs, got Arrow Fighters. Fatal Fury. So like I mentioned, Pi, Pi Zero, not going to run these as good, but Pi Three, have some fun in Neo Geo, 141 there. Nintendo, over 1,000, 1,028. So that includes some Famicom, which is, you know, Japanese releases. Quite a fit. Quite a bit. Okay. Then you have the hacks as well. Blades of Steel hack, nice. Kung Fu 2, Luigi Bros, some fine gems in here, Pepsi Man, all right, fair enough, all right, and Zombie Nation, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 55, and uh, you have regular Neo Geo Pocket in there as well, huh, that's a good way to kind of make it, uh, you know, seem pretty easy, you know? more compact PC engine and PC engine CD so CD games so here's where a lot of your space is I doubt those will run that well on the Pi Zero but not entirely sure and then you have regular PC engine 1943 Alien Crush a lot of PC engine games here if you're interested a lot of good games for the PC engine Just want to make sure I wasn't blasting your ears out. Man, have some fun here. Enjoy. Finishing up with Zipang. All right, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Sega 32X, all 35. This should be all of them. Mortal Kombat. Sega Mega CD, also known as Sega CD. So you got Space Ace, you got Sonic the Hedgehog, you got the Terminator. Uh, no Echo the Dolphin, though. But still some great, great games here. 
SG-1000, 72. It's pretty standard. Super Nintendo, oh my, wow. 1,406, so this has got to have a ton. Okay, yeah. So you got the Satellaview games, for those of you that want the Satellaview games. Excite Bike Mario Stadium. Okay, so some good stuff there. So here's about, that was about 40, 50 games there. Hack games, looks like you got another 100 or so. So all the hacks, including zombies, ate my neighbors. And then you have Super Famicom. So there's gotta be probably 100 or 200 here. Wow. <laughs> Couple hundred there for sure. Wow. The list goes on and on and on and on. So really good use of folders here. This is the use of folders. You have folders within folders. So it just makes for a lot. Wow, okay, so here's a lot of here. <laughs> so there's gotta be about three, 400 here. Okay, that makes sense. Because there's only about 700 and almost close to 800 here. So if there's 1,400, that means that the other 600 is between these three. So about four, four or 500 here in Super Famicom. Or does it even tell you if you hover over it? No, it doesn't tell you. So it looks like Cat Productions made this theme if you look in the lower right hand corner there. So that's all SNES, you guys seen that before. Uh, Turbo Graphics 16, 99. Oh, and you also have Super Graphics as well. Just stuck right in there. You can see that it says Cat Productions in the lower right. So really nice. So the ones that made that recall fighter image not too long ago, that was really cool. All right, cool. Virtual Boy 24, Wonder Swan, which has Wonder Swan color in there as well, 198. And there we are back at RetroPie, and then you have all games. Themes, it looks like you have this one, which is Next Level V3. You also have Nostalgic, RVGM, SNES Classic, Snazzy, Space Oddity, Carbon, Showcase, Swine Apple, Switch Dark, Synthwave, Card Crazy, Shaquello, Comic Crazy, Crisp, Godzilla Pot Zero, License a Game, and then back to them. So plenty of options there. Uh, doesn't look like it has ports installed or anything like that, but uh, a really basic image, 32 gigabyte. Um, let's go ahead and see how much space is left on here. So look at like it's a 29 gigabyte image. It's, it has uh, two gigabytes free. The file size is 29.7 gigabytes, and that's gonna be 31 billion, 914 million, 984 thousand bytes and if you guys are wanting to always round up on those so as long as you have that much space available on your 32 gigabyte or your 64 gigabyte you should have no problem whatsoever all right it looks like the bezels are all very basic just this kind of uh honeycomb uh carbon fiber type of look or textile type of look with the neon blue or the led blue coming in from the uh outsides all right so this is working we got the bezel there um, only thing we did, maybe that might be a little different, might be arcade, but I don't think so. Let's head over to arcade, 1943. So similar loading screens for arcade and console. And then when you're actually in the game, all right, select is insert token, start is to get going. So this does have the bezel pack for the, um, for the games, which is cool. This is the, um where each arcade game has its own bezel if they have a pack for it. So really cool, really beautiful, as you see. That's nice. All right, cool. Start select out of there. Um, last thing, you will need to reset your controls. I had issues with my controller. What it did was I went to RetroPie Setup, and then you wanna go to Configuration and Tools, and then it's the left bumper, or it's A, um, and then you want to go to emulation station dash dev. Yes, it's this one right here. Option number one, go ahead and hit OK. It's going to say, are you sure? Say yes. And then you want to go cancel. And then this part's really important. You want to go back and then you want to do perform reboot OK. Do not go back one more time. Do not exit or else your controller will no longer work. You do need to reboot. All right, so there you have it, Next Level Gaming. It's great that they produced an image that is backwards compatible to the Raspberry Pi Zero if you want. You do want to start out with the Zero, though. You don't want to boot it up in a 3 first. You want to boot it up first boot in the Raspberry Pi Zero. But if you also want to run this on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 2, it should work as well. Um, packing a lot of games, custom theme from Cat Productions, as well as a ton of other themes on it. 
The biggest downside I see to this is it's 4.3.16, uh, but some people are finding issues with 4.4, so 4.3.16 is still great, especially for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, as far as 32 gigabytes, I'd probably go for the Emolga over this, especially with Recall Box, but then again, this is RetroPie. Some people prefer RetroPie. For the most part, everything's been set up. I haven't been able to go through every single game, but I've played you know, all the systems so far, and they all seem to work. It's pretty much console only with Neo Geo and Arcade, so a nice, you know, a nice, you know, for 32, it's got everything going on. Um, something else I noticed is kind of different to a lot of other images is mostly box art, not a lot of game art. Uh, I prefer game art myself, just, you know, especially if it's a game I've never played, I want to kind of see what the gameplay looks like. But, you know, nonetheless, it's still really nice and it, it's at least consistent with only showing the box art. Custom loading screens, custom bezels, um, custom uh, splash uh, to, to boot intro video. Um, so a lot of little customization here and there. Overall, I'm digging it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.